Benson. 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 I swear he doesn't know his name yet. So today I decided I didn't want to wear makeup and because I hate honestly taking mascara off at nighttime. So yeah, that's how I decided not to wear makeup today. I'm very lazy. But two, today's video, I want to make a pair of pants that are similar to these pants by Helena Man... I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she's this amazing designer and she makes a lot of clothes like this, kind of like a patchwork kind of style, and I really want to make them. I was going to buy them, and I was this close to buying them, but they're, they're kind of low-waisted, and I'm not really a fan of low-waisted pants just yet, especially in like a stretchy fabric. Maybe a pair of jeans are fine, but not for a tight fabric, so I think we're just going to try to recreate them today. I'm at Valley Village. We're going to see if they have some fabric here I can use to recreate, because you know, I'd rather buy used or it sounded kind of weird saying I'd rather buy used fabric. I'd rather buy secondhand fabric that's more sustainable, but don't think they're going to have it, so we're going to head over to the fabric store if they don't have any here. Let's go see if they have any fabric here at the Value Village. So I'm just in the fabric section, and I found this blue one, which could work perfectly if I want to do a blue pair of pants. It's only $7.99. There's honestly so many good fabrics here, so I actually need a card. I might be getting multiple today. I'm super tempted to get this whole thing of fabric. Like, look at this. It used to be $12.98 a meter, and now it's $10. It's like this beautiful green stretchy fabric, too. <gasps> there's, there's, a, there's probably a whole bolt here. I'm actually surprised how many options I have today. So I have this blue fabric here. I have this white one, which I really love the ribbing on it. So this might be the winner. And then I also have this navy one, the first one I showed you guys. This bolt of fabric, there's a ton here. This would only be $10, which I'm like thinking I probably won't get it just because I don't need this much fabric of one color. Like that's insane. And then there's a little bit of it. So if I want to get this fabric, I can just get the little bit of it. So I ended up getting a whole bag of fabric. I went in there thinking, you know, hey, maybe we'll find one fabric, but no, the fabric section was just the bomb today and I couldn't leave them behind. So I just got all the fabric because I couldn't decide on which pair of pants I wanted to make. So I'll decide which color I want to use for my pair of pants. But first, I actually need to go to the fabric store because I do need some thread for my surgery. I'm going to get some, some fun colors. So I think I want to make my pants out of this green one. I think I decided that I want to start off with green just because I think the contrasting brown thread will look really nice on this green fabric. So what I'm going to do first before we even cut patterns, I need to sew a whole bunch of lines downwards, just the whole thing, just to kind of get that similar texture that they have on the pair of pants here where you can just see a whole bunch of surging lines, serger, ser lines, stitch, stitches with the serger all the way down. So I want to kind of recreate that so when I just cut my pattern, it's good to go. And then I just need to sew a pair of pants. There's a lot of fabric here. It's probably about my height. So I'll, I'll probably just sew the whole thing just because the leftover fabric I can make a matching top. That actually might be cute to make one of those one shoulder tops. Oh, that sounds cute. So yeah, I'm just gonna sew the whole fabric with my serger and different widths apart. Like I don't really have, you know, a formula for like how far I want each stitch to be. I'm just gonna do random widths apart from each stitch, if you know what I mean. Like one here, one here, then one here, then, you know, you know, you get what I'm saying? What I'm going to do first now is I'm taking my fabric and I'm folding the wrong sides together and I'm just going to be folding like a little bit, maybe like two inches over and then I'm going to fold it the whole way down and I'm just going to put this into my serger and sew some lines and see how it goes. I don't really want it cutting off anything so I'm going to make the seam allowance like pretty much zero, like just have it to the end so it just goes over pretty much the end of the fabric and it doesn't really cut any off because I don't really want the fabric to like shrink in width that much. It will a little bit but I don't want it to very much. I feel so bad for my fiance. I sew all the time during the day and he's legit on meetings with his work and all I hear is this in the background. This looks so good. Oh my. Well, I don't know why is that oh my, but this looks so good. 
I love the green and this brown contrast. These are gonna be amazing, these pants. So I have my first stitch all done here. So I'm just gonna keep folding it over, remember wrong sides together. And I'm gonna put it like maybe like two to three inches apart for this one. And then I'm gonna change the widths every single time. Okay, you guys are gonna get real bored real fast if I keep just showing you me sewing on the serger. So I'll just show you when I have more done. So I'll, I'll see you guys in a minute. I don't know why I kissed you. I am like almost halfway and I am just in, I am, I'm just speechless. I am so happy with how this is turning out. Look at this. This is the most beautiful fabric I've ever seen in my life and I am so excited to make these pair of pants and I think I'm gonna make the one-sided top too or one-armed, one shoulder or one arm top too just because look at this. Here's what the fabric looks like now. I'm all done. I love it. I just need to iron it now. So I have my iron out here. I'm gonna give it a good iron and then I can finally cut out the, the, the pattern. I'm, I'm so excited. I just wanna put these pants on right now. Mm, I'm kinda of bored of ironing, so I think that's just gonna be, that's gonna be good enough. I don't know if I can fold it in half. I might just have to cut out four pieces can fold it in half look at that so next I have my two pattern pieces and I taught you guys how to make those pattern pieces from a pair of your guys' pants so you can go watch this video up in the cards or down below in the description how to make um, a pattern piece for a pair of pants I'm like doing yoga too it's, oh my goodness it fits Perfect. Wow, I got so lucky. Good job, Jenna. So next I have my washable marker here and I'm just gonna go ahead and trace this pattern all the way around and then I'm also gonna extend the legs because I want them to be super, super long. And then after that, I'm just gonna take my shears and cut it up. You definitely want some weights on here. So usually I like to use my decor. There we go. And now I can trace it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm taking one front piece and one back piece and I'm going to be putting the wrong sides together because I want the seam to show. So I'm going to put one down and then I'm going to put the other one over top like this so the crotch seam here and down to the leg lines up. And then once I have those together, I'm going to go ahead and pin from here all the way down to the bottom. And I am doing this for both pieces so there should be a front with the back for both legs. So this is what it should look like. I know it's hard to tell where the crotch seam is just because there's so many seams, but this is the crotch there. And then from here all the way down is the inner part of the leg. So that is what I pin together. So I'm just gonna quickly pin these together now. Okay, next we're gonna sew from the crotch down to the bottom of the leg, pretty much just where you pinned it. You're just gonna sew it. And I'm sewing it with my serger because I want the seam to be exposed, but if you don't want another exposed seam, then sew it however you like, girl. But that's why I put the wrong sides together. So now for some magic. We're gonna take our two pieces and we're gonna put the right side down on the ground like this. We all see, yeah, we can all see, perfect. And then you're gonna go and take this one and put it over top so the fronts line up and the backs, the booties line up like this. It's gonna look weird, but trust me, it turns into a pant. Just, just trust me on this. So now we're gonna pin it from here. Can we all see up here? All the way down over to here, and then that's where we're gonna sew next. So this is the really magical part. So now we have it looking like this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up so it looks like this. You're gonna get these two front pieces and then you're gonna grab the booty down here. You have your pants here. Look at that. Like, look at that. Look how, wow, these look so good. Oh my gosh, these look 
good. Oh my goodness, they look good. Yeah, okay, so next. Next, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pin both of the side legs from here down to the bottom and from here down to the bottom. And yeah, that's our next thing. And then after we pin it, we just sew them together. And just in case you haven't noticed, um, I'm, I'm not a professional. I'm gonna show you. I did do a quick alteration, which I just added some darts in the back of the pants, and then I continued the seam all the way down, and that's the only thing I did just because it was a little bit big in the waist, so I fixed that, but my pattern wasn't like really meant for this, so that's why it was a little big, but if you're taking your pattern from like a pair of yoga pants, it should be fine. You want a tight-fitted pair of pants you're taking the pattern from. Anyways, here are the pants. This is how they look. They look amazing, they fit great, so now it is time to add the waistband. Next day. So I ended up falling asleep last night after dinner, so um, I didn't finish the pants, but I'm gonna finish them right now. Now that I'm looking at the pants and I'm looking at this waistband, it's terrible. Like honestly, this is this is terrible work, Jenna. What were you doing last night? It feels terrible. Like it does not feel like it's gonna be nice on my waist, so we need to go get a new waistband. Um, this one's not gonna work. That being said, let's go back to Walmart. Let's go. We're back. This is the only one that is somewhat soft and, but I'm still a little iffy if it'll be soft on my belly. Yeah, this one's actually soft. I'm gonna get this one. I was, I was gonna get it anyway, just because I like put it on my stomach. So I don't think that's very sanitary to put it back, but. This one will work. Okay, I think we're good, so let's go. So now that I have the correct elastic, I have to seam rip this whole elastic out. Oh joy. So um, I forgot to record the footage, but pretty much I just measured my waist and then I cut out that much of the waistband and then I sewed it right sides, or there's no right sides. I just sewed them together and then I took my iron and I flattened it out until I got a circle elastic like so. Once I got that, I went ahead and I pinned it to the top of my pants here and I made sure it was even all the way around. So I pinned the front and the back and then I kind of stretched it out so it was even all the way around and just kept pinning and pinning and pinning until it was even and I was happy with it. After that, I went to my serger and I just sewed it all the way around on my waistband and also you make sure that it is actually right sides together and not wrong sides together even though I've been doing wrong sides this whole time you want right sides together so it looks like this and then once you're done that you're gonna flip it inside so the waistband is gonna be in the inside and you're gonna go ahead and you're just going to clip it down so the waistband is completely folded over in the inside of the pants so now that we have it all pinned down or clipped down, we are gonna do a technique, I think that's called sew in the ditch. I, I think, I'm not, don't quote me on that. But what we're gonna do is to keep this elastic face down and then we don't also have that extra seam here, we are actually just gonna sew down a few of these seams here on the outside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to follow this seam right here and just sew like two inches where the elastic is. And I'm gonna do that on the two sides and the front and the back, so four seams total. As for the sewing machine, I changed the thread so it would match here and then underneath my bobbin is actually white so you will not see it at all. So this is what the seam looks like on the outside, and this is what it looks like on the inside. So this is how the waistband turned out. It looks awesome, it doesn't even look like there's a waistband there. And then if I fold it over, this is what it looks like on the inside. The waistband is also super soft, so it's actually not irritating my skin whatsoever. So it was a good decision to go back to Walmart and get a new waistband. So the final step is just hemming the pants because um, because they're like way too long. So to hem them, I am just gonna use my serger and just um, serge the bottom and then that's how I'm gonna hem it. So I am just gonna pin which length I want for each of them, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna hem the bottom. And then we're done. 
So the first thing I needed to do was I needed to find the length that I wanted so I just turned them inside out at the bottom and clipped them when I was happy with the length I wanted. Next thing I did was I laid the pair of pants flat on my table and made sure they are both even and I trimmed one leg and then I went ahead and I trimmed the other one, leaving about a centimeter half inch of excess fabric because some will be taken away when I do trim the pants. Then I hopped onto my serger and I just sewed it with my serging you know, stitch-ish. Yeah, I did that on both legs and then I was finished the pair of pants. Okay, here they are. <laughs> Look at them. They honestly turned out way better than I could have expected. They fit amazing. They feel amazing. They are super comfy and I am just, I'm blown away with them. I'm gonna be wearing these 24 seven now because they honestly feel like a pair of pajamas. I also made them super long, you can see, just because I wear a lot of like platform shoes so I wanted them long and plus I just like long pants so I made them super long which I love because you can I can never find really long pants to be honest and I'm not that tall like I'm 5'7 so I'm decently tall but all the pants are always at my ankle I keep getting notification from McDonald's and I don't know why they're just wanting me to go to McDonald's all the time it's a little bit tempting okay anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on this is so 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 sewing tutorial on how to make these pants here I really like them it was definitely worth it so I definitely think you guys should try it out if you have a serger it was super easy it was a quick little sewing tutorial so I hope you guys tried it out if you do try it out tag me on Instagram at Jenna Phipps because I love seeing you guys recreate some of my stuff but I'm gonna go now so I hope you guys have a great Easter day and I'll see you guys in my next video on Sunday bye guys Thank you.